The secret place is patient. The secret place is your development. It's lessons you learn while you're here. I can't pretend it don't hurt. When the time comes, God will rise. Hold on to your faith. You are now watching Kingdom Work TV. What's going on everybody? This is Kingdom Work TV. My name is Antonio, but everybody calls me Bear. If you want to be part of the round table, all you gotta do is like, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on all platforms at Kingdom Work TV. You follow me, I follow you. We can build this together. So today I'm talking about freedom is yours. So what I mean by freedom is yours is a mindset. Freedom is yours, meaning that God gave you a new path, a new direction, a new a new mindset, like I said before, a new way of life. And it's your job to explore that way of life. And that's a lot that God's going to pull out of you. And like I said before, when I say you, I'm talking about myself because this is how I do it. I act like I'm talking to myself like this, whatever. Um, But it's a lot that God took out of me going through this wilderness uh, stage of my life um, some years back. And it really deleted a lot of stuff that I once was my mind, how my mindset really was, how negative, how, how, uh, how I thought about sex all the time, how I thought about myself all the time, how selfish I was and a lot of insecurities and stuff like that, whatever. So it's a lot that I was dealing with and, I, and, and God really brought me out of that. But guess what? When he gave me a new image, a new identity, a relationship with him, it's a lot that I had to discover. So I did my due diligence on discovering this new Antonio. So this I wrote in my notes. What the creator does is give us time, patience, and love for correction. Why I'm learning is a new pattern, a new mind, a new mindset. It's awkward because it's not familiar. When you're going through this process of of finding this, or discovering, not finding, but discovering this new person, it's going to be awkward because it's like a, it's like it really is a trial and error thing. You got to go outside, you got to go to different places, uh, per, uh, different places, you got to try different food, you got to change your, you, just a lot of things that you got to morph. Uh, you know, once before, like I said, I was almost 400 pounds and I started walking, I started going to the park and I started walking around the park and one day I was walking around the park and God told me, you're going to be a pescatarian. And I'm like, no, I'm not because I love chicken too much. I'm thinking like, yo, I'm about to go home, make me a grilled chicken salad right now. Like, I love chicken so much. And I'm not being a pescatarian. And a whole year later, one day the Holy Spirit said, try, you know, try to be a, a pescatarian. I'm like, all right, I'm going to try for four days. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be a pescatarian for four days. If it... If it don't work, it's cool. You know, guess what, man? I've been a pescatarian almost two years now. Matter of fact, two years I've been a pescatarian. So, <laughs> and, and this, it just, it just, it's so much that you got to learn. There's certain things that I did like, like, I used to go to, like, go to club, like to go to bars and stuff like that, which is nothing wrong with that if you do that. That's your business. But for me, I don't really, I don't, I don't participate in things like that. If I do every once in a while, this, this is my boy, my homegirl, or family, every blue moon, I'll go to the bar. But guess what? It's limitations. It's a strip club. I'm not going. It's just me personally. I don't like stuff like that. So I'm not to put myself in a situation where that, you know what I'm saying? I be like, oh shoot, let me turn up, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, no, nah, that I ain't, I'm not about to do that. And this roll my nose, but you are free. Open your eyes and see you are free. Free. The definition of free, not under the control or in the power of another. And I got the root word of free. Release, deliver, rescue, detach, loose, a shackle, unchain, narrow, faithful, steadfast, trusted, consistent, unwavering. Reliable and obedient. During this process, also, I learned that I'm not controlled by the system of this world. I'm not controlled of the traditions of this world. I don't celebrate none of these holidays. Not Christmas, not Thanksgiving, not uh, uh, Easter, not uh, uh, all that. Fourth of July and June 19th, 18th, or whatever crap it is, and 
4th of July, I don't celebrate none of that at all because that's not who I am. That's not what God created me to be, to, to be conformed to what this world is and what this system is designed for. I know some people are like, well, what, what about the kids? I'm sorry. My child going to, going to know the truth. Y'all sit up there and lie to y'all kids and tell them it's, uh, it's Santa Claus and Santa come bring you toys, but you working hard every day and you breaking your back and going broke, going in debt for your child. For something you could just tell him the truth about. Tell him or her the truth about. Or even Thanksgiving. Why we got to wait to Thanksgiving to sit down and have, uh, have a feast? We have a feast on a regular Friday or on a Saturday or on a Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Why we got to sit there and just do what everybody's doing? It's become boring. That's boring. This being brainwashed. It's, it's all this is brainwashing. That's a system. There's traditions. A lot of these traditions are pagan holidays. These are idle holidays that we are, uh, we as a, uh, 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 we are as God people are worshiping and, and indulging in. And then we go to God and say, Lord, you know, bless me, Lord, heal me. But he looking at you like, yo, you go to an idol every day. Children of Israel, when most ones uh, went up to the mountaintop, they may go and start worshiping a, a, a golden calf. Start worshiping Baal. You look at the word Baal and mean husband. So y'all going to your husband, which is Baal, to this pagan holidays, and y'all worshiping these things that don't even matter. And Tony, yo. And I sat back and I realized, like, bro, I'm about to have a free mind. I don't want this. This is not who I am. I'm cool. Like, I feel like the cool, I'm cool. I want to be the follower. I want to be a leader. And that's what God designed me to be a leader. I'm a king. So why do I got to follow what everybody else doing? That's it. That, no, I ain't about to do that. I'm about to do me. When I had kids, hey, listen, anything you touch, you get. That's how I'm going to do my kids. Hey, hey, come on, on Saturday, all the fam, we having a feast. That's how I'm going to rock. Fourth of July, why I got to work through Fourth of July? Lay on some fireworks. Hey, in the summertime, hey, let's go on this field. We like a whole bunch of fireworks off. Just chill, kick the bobos. You know what I'm saying? And just have a good time amongst us, amongst the family, amongst the community. You got you to gotta sit up there and do what everybody is doing. I think that's lame anyway. Uh, Romans 12 and 2 I got a scripture And do not be conformed to this world But be transformed by the renewal of your mind So that you may prove that What the will of God is That which is good and acceptable And perfect Galatians 5 and 1 It's for freedom that Christ has set us free Stay firm Then and do not let yourselves be Burdened again by a yoke of slavery Man, a lot of this stuff is slavery. It's a slavery mindset. Everybody, for black folks, we walk around all day talking about how, you know, you know, the white Jesus and the white man and the white man did this to y'all and the white man did that to y'all. But y'all sitting up here worshiping what, ancestors? The Bible said the ancestors left y'all empty. So, who y'all running to? Y'all worshiping somebody that's dead? You gotta have a, you gotta have a free mind. You gotta free your mind. You gotta, you got you gotta go. You gotta, you gotta walk by faith, not you ambition. Gotta. Ambition. The Bible says ambition is evil. Put you in the place of keep walking. Keep walking. Matter of fact, get on the boat. When you're on this boat, it's just you and Jesus. And when you and Jesus on this boat, I'm taking things out of you. And when you go across this go this boat right here, you get to this, to this land right here. You gotta get off the boat. You gotta keep walking. So guess what? I'm gonna show you to this land. I'm gonna show you this land, which is a relationship land, which is walking to the garden. Now you're in this garden. It's nothing in this garden. Exactly. Not yet. But since a relationship here is good soil. I'm going to plant things around you. Just sit here. Be patient. And I'm going to describe to you what a relationship is with me, God. And then after that, guess what? I'm going to take you to a secret place where I can teach you. I can mold you. I can build you to be a man or to be a woman. But the first thing you got to set your mind free. You got to believe. You got to come up from among them. You going to listen to people or you going to listen to me? Because I ain't going to lie, as I've been there for 36 years. Listen, people got me nowhere. Me listening to God in three years, he took me farther than I ever can even think of, think of and continue, continue to elevate me and to, to build me, to mold me. It's with love. The suffering, the Bible says long suffering. That's love. I would rather suffer with God and suffer in silence. 
That's the way I'm thinking. So, I wrote in my notes, you are free. The enemy do not have no license over your life. He did not have any license in your mindset and in your actions. The enemy does not have license on you. You are unshackled. You are free to live your life in freedom. Run and do not look back. This is your opportunity to fly. Your opportunity for your release. Don't dig up old bones because the bones you are digging up is your own bones. When old things are dead, you leave it. You you leave it. It's over. The old it, the old you is dead. When that old person that God buried, you got to leave that person alone. You can't go back to him. So that means you can't go back to them women, Antonio. You can't go back to watch your pornography, Antonio. You can't go back to thinking about yourself, Antonio. You can't buy, You can't go back uh, uh, being a uh, uh, lazy, Antonio. You can't go back having insecurities. You can't go back wearing a mask. You can't go back and act like you just this confident person, which you are a confident person, but is rooted in anger and bitterness and frustration. I can't go back to this old person. It's old. It's dead. Why? why, why I can't go back to him because the old Antonio cannot come to a place of this anointing, can't come to this place of righteousness, can't come to this place of a new mindset, can come to this place of love. And I asked God a question. Real talk. I asked God a question. I said, how can we get delivered? And I mean, we, I was just really talking like as a people, honestly, in that time when I was in my prayer closet, I said, how can we get delivered? And he gave me a scripture. It was Psalm 32 and 7. You are my hiding place. You I will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Another scripture he gave me is 1 Peter 2 and 16. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover up for evil. Live, live as God's slaves. And during that process, I realized that I'm delivered from this old way of thinking. I'm delivered from this system. I'm delivered from what y'all call cool i'm free from what y'all say is the norm the bots i don't come i don't conform to that i don't conform to that i don't know i don't know what that is no more like real talk i don't know what that is like and i ain't gonna lie it's a battle because this past this past holidays i was battling like right now it's April, but shh, back in December I was battling with it because I'm like, man, my my nieces, my mom, my girl, my peoples, I was it was a battle. It was a battle, and I ain't gonna lie. The enemy, this is just something. It's like these lessons, not just a lesson. These lessons that I lived through, so I can't talk about nothing I lived through, and it's gonna be a battle, y'all, because the old ways is. Is it's like a muscle in your mind. Like I'm used to this. I'm used to go. I'm used to this. But the path that God's take you on familiar. It feel weird. It feel awkward because it's just like I'm just. I don't know what this is. But God, all He's is turn you around. Just walk the other way. And I thank God for that. And last scripture that I wrote in my note, John eight and thirty six. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free. Indeed, God set me free. I am free from the system. I'm free from people validations. I'm free from family traditions. I am free for whatever people got to say about me and the way I'm going and the way I'm thinking. Because guess what? I am an alien here. And it's cool to be alien. It's cool to be a leader. And it's cool to be a king. And all I got to do is stay committed, stay present, and stay confident.